Hi, my name is Christian Lowe. I'm a saddler with over 20 years experience and developer of Christian Lowe Leather Care. Today, I would like to show you a few tips on how to ship your saddle safely and effectively. Things you'll need to get started are some bubble wrap. Some people have this from when they bought their saddle new. It's a cantle protector. If you don't have bubble wrap, you can always use a old beach towel or bath towel. You're going to need your saddle cover. You're going to need a way to attach your name and contact details to your saddle. You're going to need some packing tape. You will also need a sheet of paper that you're going to include with your saddle that has the reason why you're shipping your saddle to who you're shipping it to. All of your details, daytime contact number, email, any information that you feel is relevant to the repair of the saddle. It's always best to have good, clear communication with that piece of paper. You're also, on that piece of paper, going to record your serial number of your saddle. Typically, all saddles have a serial number either on the sweat flap or somewhere located underneath. There's often a number printed on the stirrup bar of the saddle. That is not your serial number. That is um, a generic serial number or um, code that's put on a lot of stirrup bars, so you can ignore that one. It will be located on the leather of your saddle. You're gonna need a box that uh, approximately measures 24 by 18 by 18. The smaller the saddle, the smaller the box. A uh, big issue with uh, clients I see shipping saddles is they use an oversized box for the saddle and then use a lot of filler with it. And unfortunately, the, what happens is the box ends up getting crushed. And it's because it's so big that it isn't secure. So this is your saddle. We can see obviously that it's a seat repair, but if you need other things looked at or if you have a concern, for instance, like uh, a noise coming from the saddle when you're riding, or that there's something uh, underneath that you would like checked out, you make sure you specify that. Um, a lot of saddlers will obviously see, yeah, I know that needs doing, but you know, the other things like the, the noise coming from a saddle uh, wouldn't be obvious to anyone doing the repair. So preparing for boxing. This, if you have one, they're great. They protect the cantle. Um, not so important shipping a saddle like this out for repair, but on its way back, it's nice to have one. Uh, some bubble wrap. The most sensitive part of a saddle are the uh, pommel and the cantle. Protecting that area would be great. If you want to do something that's uh, better for the environment and use a towel, that's fine too. So you can put the towel over top like that. And then you put your saddle cover on over top, like so. Now, the reason we like a smaller box rather than a bigger box is you can curl your flaps up, put it in a nice box that's just the right size. You do not need any extra padding like styrofoam. Um, that we see the styrofoam peanuts is uh, something that's really popular. If you drop your saddle off at a UPS store or a shipping store, they tend to put it in a massive box and a huge amount of styrofoam and it just creates a mess and it's not needed. The saddle does not need that kind of protection. And then you're, when you go to put it in the box, you're putting it cantle side down and curl the flaps in and tape your box up. So inside the box, you've got your saddle, you've got a little bit of protection, a piece of paper that has all your details on it, the work you would like done, and you're going to decide on who you're shipping it with. Postal services throughout North America do a fantastic job and if you're shipping to or from rural, like farm country, that's always better, a good option. A lot of courier companies uh, don't regularly visit the countryside, they work more in the city centers, so something to consider. Ensuring your saddle is something that's personal to each individual. So if you feel, hey, if I had to replace this saddle today, it's going to be X thousands of dollars. I want the saddle insured for that. Keep in mind that insurance bought at the counter, whether it's at a postal service or a courier company, is the most expensive way you can buy um, insurance. And it can drive your shipping costs up dramatically. So if that's a concern, just keep that in mind. Some tips are um, contact your own insurance provider 
and tell them, hey, I'm about to ship something of great value and can I just get a waiver to cover that while it's in transit? That's one option. Um, another option is to go uninsured, but you have to keep in mind that if it gets lost, the reality is that um, you, know, you won't be getting any refund out of that. So we've got our saddle boxed. We've shipped the saddle with our preferred shipper. What you're going to do is take that tracking number and provide it to whoever you're sending it to, along with the serial number of the saddle. It's just a courtesy, it's a heads up saying, hey, saddle, such and such a brand, such and such a uh, serial number is coming to you via postal service or a courier company. Uh, here's the tracking number and you can expect it by Wednesday of next week. It just gives the, um, the saddler a little bit of a heads up the time management on their side of things, but it also um, you know, refreshes their memory. Hey, that conversation we may have had a month ago about me sending your saddle, it's actually happening and you can track it with this following tracking number. Okay, so your saddle is on its way. The saddler has received it. Some saddlers have a policy where they just touch base with you before they start to work to double check. Yes, I understand it needs a new seat or new billets or we're addressing uh, a noise coming from the saddle. Um, it's really important, you can't uh, stress this enough, is the communication there. If you have special shipping instructions for returning the saddle to you, um, you can do one of two things. You make sure that, hey, this is going to my spouse's office instead of being returned to my home address. That's really important. Um, other important information, obviously, is how is this going to be paid for? If you want, you can supply uh, credit card details in with your saddle or um, ultimately just say, hey, look, contact me when the work's done. Uh, if you need a quote, before the work gets started, make sure you're very clear on that, that it's you know on the note attached to the saddle. Do not proceed until quote is authorized. Also, if you're shipping with a courier company, they usually have an option where you can pay ahead of time for the return shipping. That's a great option because then you know your costs ahead of time for the return shipping, but it's also a huge convenience for the saddler. They can just pull the return shipping label out slap it on the outside of the box when it's done and send everything back to you. Um, another uh, just friendly tip or reminder, do not ship your saddle with anything like stirrup irons, stirrup leathers, girth, um, any accessories that you have attached like a safety strap, uh, remove them from your saddle before you ship. Thank you for watching my video. I hope it's been useful for you. If you like this type of video and would like to see more, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and have a great day.